O sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. In his presence are majesty and splendour, strength and honour in his holy place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Beloved in Christ, we come together this evening to celebrate the Mass to the glory of God, and uh, with prayers for those locally living in the parish, uh, particularly those uh, living on Jane Austen House and Keats House. So that we might prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries of God's love, let us recall to mind our sins and pray together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all those who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son we may abound in good works. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Oh. <clears throat> reading from the letter to the Hebrews. <clears throat> All the priests stand at their duties every day, offering over and over again the same sacrifices, which are quite incapable of taking sins away. Jesus, on the other hand, has offered one single sacrifice for sins, and then taken his place forever at the right hand of God where he is now waiting until his enemies are made into a footstool for him. By virtue of that one single offering, he has achieved the eternal perfection of all whom he is sanctifying. The Holy Spirit assures us of this, for he says first, this is the covenant I will make with them when those days arrive. And the Lord then goes on to say, I will put my laws into their hearts and write them on their minds. I will never call their sins to mind or their offences. When all sins have been forgiven, there can be no more sin offerings. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The Lord's revelation to my master, sit on my right hand, I will put your foes beneath my feet. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The Lord will send from Zion your scepter of power, rule in the midst of all your foes. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old, a prince from the day of your birth, on the holy mountains, from the womb before the daybreak I begot you. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The Lord has sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. Alleluia, alleluia. Speak, Lord, your servants are listening. 
You have the message of eternal life. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus began to teach by the lakeside, but such a huge crowd gathered around him that he got into a boat on the lake and sat there. The people were all along the shore at the water's edge. He taught them many things and parables, and in the course of his teaching he said to them, Listen, imagine a sower going out to sow. Now it happened that as he sowed, some of the seed fell on the edge of the path and the birds came and ate it up. Some seed fell on rocky ground, where it found little soil, and sprang up straightway, because there was no depth of earth. And when the sun came up, it was scorched, and not having any roots, it withered away. Some seed fell into thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it produced no crop. And some seed fell into rich soil, and growing tall and strong produced crop, and yielded thirty, sixty, even a hundredfold. And he said, Listen, anyone who has ears to hear. When he was alone, the twelve, together with the others who formed his company, asked what the parables meant. He told them, The secret of the kingdom of God is given to you, but to those who are outside everything comes in parables so that they may see and see again, but not perceive, may hear and hear again, but not understand. Otherwise they might be converted and be forgiven. He said to them, do you not understand this parable? Then how will you understand any parables? What the sower is sowing is the word. Those on the edge of the path where the word is sown are people who have no longer heard it, uh, no, no sooner heard it, then Satan comes and carries away the word that was sown in them. Similarly, those who receive the seed on patches of rock are people who, when first they hear the word, welcome it at once with joy, but they have no root in them. They do not last. Should some trial come or some persecution on account of the word, they fall away at once. Then there are others who receive the seed in thorns. These have heard the word, but the worries of this world, the lure of riches, and all the other passions come in to choke the word, and so it produces nothing. And there are those who have received the seed in rich soil. They hear the word and accept it, and yield a harvest, thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Christ. Let us pray. <clears throat> Gracious, loving God, we ask your blessing on us as we gather this evening. As your church, we ask your spirit to be with us. Bless all your people, those who are calling on your name and who are being saved. We ask a blessing on us all, Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We pray for our leaders, archbishops, bishops, priests and deacons across all the many provinces of the Anglican Communion in this country and uh, in the denominations and in the Orthodox Church and the Roman Catholic Church. We ask your blessing on our leaders. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We pray for those living in this parish we pray, Lord, that you would meet each of their needs. We pray especially for those who are dealing with um, the ill effects of this virus. We pray for families who have uh, someone who is suffering with this illness, particularly those who are hospitalized. We pray your presence and witness to them. We pray, Lord, that uh, faith would be deepened and that your comfort would be with them. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those living in Jane Austen House and in Keats House. May your mercy and your grace be present to them. Lord, in your mercy. 
We pray for those who are uh, studying in this time, students at university. We pray uh, for each one of them and for their lecturers, their teachers, for their administrators. Uh, we pray for, um, for calm, for good sense, and we pray for um, uh, diligence to continue to study in the context of this time. Um, we pray for wisdom uh, for those who make policy for them. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who have died. We pray for those whose anniversary of their passing falls at this or near this time. We pray for friends and family who have died. We pray for those who have died in this last night. May rest eternal be granted them, O Lord. As light of that your shine. And here we offer our private prayers of uh, thanksgiving and of petition, of supplication, asking that the Spirit would speak through us and the saints would pray with us. We ask particularly the blessing of our patron, Saint Gabriel, and Saint Mary, our Lady of Sorrows, as we say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread and to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, beloved in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for our salvation. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of a virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. 
granted by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, after supper, he took the cup. He gave you thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant. It is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on a cross, his perfect sacrifice, made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. And we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and to serve you. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Remember also our brothers and sisters, fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom, all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, St. Joseph, St. Gabriel, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And now, as our Lord Saviour has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall lead you. Look toward the Lord and be radiant. Let your faces be not abashed.
those who are unable to attend the Mass this evening, we say this prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this time receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <coughs> Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift. We make our prayer for our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Oh. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Peter. And great thanks to Father Michael for celebrating Mass this evening. Mass tomorrow morning is, of course, at 9.30. God bless him.